The rain is making its way into Southern California. We've started to see a few light showers, but we'll really see it intensify as we head into the overnight hours. Uh, we're getting a ton of rain, so the reason for that is we're tapping into the atmospheric river. Uh, so I want to give you an idea of exactly what that atmospheric river is. Uh, it's kind of a river in the sky, about 250 to 375 miles wide of water vapor. And as that water vapor rises, it cools and it brings us that heavy precipitation. We get that very heavy rain and snow that we are expecting. Uh, moisture wise, it is up to 15 times the average flow of the water in the Mississippi River. So uh, it's going to bring us an incredible amount of rain, one to three inches for coastal valleys and three to six inches for mountains and foothills. You know, we rarely get these types of amounts here in Southern California uh, for snow level starting at about 7,000 feet where we are expecting one to three feet of snow. And by late Tuesday, into early Wednesday, we'll see levels drop. So some of those passes will likely be impacted as well. Uh, we're expecting a few inches of snow there, so we could see some closures, some delays. Uh, you'll definitely want to check ahead before traveling in that direction. And then gusty, powerful winds. That's going to be another part of the story as we are looking at some wind warnings also. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment, but want to show you that timeline once again. Overnight hours, we really start to see that the rain intensify over Ventura County. And by that commute tomorrow morning, look at that. All of us really seeing some heavy rain across the area where we see those yellows, those oranges, those reds. Uh, those are some of those heavier cells, and we are seeing that across the region as we head into the commute home. Uh, things are winding down, especially for LA and Ventura, even parts of Orange County, uh, but still the IE into the Coachella Valley still seeing some of that rain. And then by late Tuesday, it's mostly going to be about that snow. The snow levels dropping by Wednesday. We are clearing out, uh, but here's a look at some of those impact. So the winds will be very strong. We have wind advisories in place and then even the stronger high wind warning. That's going to be for some of those high deserts. So places like the Antelope Valley gusts 60 to 75 miles per hour. So those are very dangerous uh, winds. The snow that's really going to impact those higher elevations and we are looking at a winter storm warning through tomorrow evening for all of our mountains as we are expecting so much snow and along with those winds, it's really going to create some difficult driving conditions. Flooding will also be a concern and then temperatures of course will be on the cooler side as we head into next weekend. Things start drying out and uh, it will be sunny and dry, but uh, still those temperatures on the cooler side. Here's a check of the Inland Empire, the high desert, as well as the mountains. Pat, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Olga.